Hello, it's Deborah from the Attic. I'm sorry if I sound a bit croaky today, but I'm getting over um, a bit of an infection. But I want to share a flip through of a journal that's been made for a friend for a significant birthday. I won't name the number. And it's been made using uh, partly pages from a kit, partly pages that I have created and scanned and then printed, and partly pages made from tea stained papers and then stamped and textured. I wanted to start by showing you as an example a couple of the pages that I used from a kit online. So this is from um, Screech Owl Studio. Um, you can find her on Etsy. The set is called uh, Romancing the Sea and the images are beautiful. So this is an example of one of the pages that I've used in making this journal and it's just lovely, really, really subtle images, beautiful colouring and um, I, I really, really like the kits available on Screech Owl. You may have seen a, a video that I made previously using one of the kits where I made my own Wintersmith album, um, or journal I should say, um, and I made that using um, a kit from Screech Owl. The other things uh, that you get in the kits, the kits are always really packed by the way, these are only a couple of examples because I happen to have these left over, but there are some lovely images as well ready for you to cut out and add to your journal. Um, there are many 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 more pages in the kit than that, but that's, uh, that's to give you an idea of the starting place. So this is the journal. Um, this has been made, um, it is it is about five inches by about seven inches and it has a craft paper um, cover and onto that cover I've added some very simple embellishments, um, some extra details. This is paper which I have waxed and textured and coloured. This is a piece of burlap and there is some lace here and there is a little bit of hand stitching here I don't know if you can see that, the little blue stitches and then on the front of the cover it's the same again, there's a little bit more of that hand waxed paper there's some machine stitching as well down these little thin strips there's some more um, hand stitching, these little straight lines here and there are some vintage uh, 1950s laundry buttons I love these, I think these give a really lovely little bit of extra texture to a journal and I've used a single, single signature and it's a five hole um, style of uh, pamphlet stitching that I've used to put it together so that's sort of the bare bones of it. Now this journal is going to somebody who is not a junk journaler themselves so I've had to make it as accessible as possible so this isn't a very complex journal it's not full of tucks and, and pages that pull out and extra little uh, complicated sections. It's straightforward to make it as accessible and non-threatening as possible and to encourage her to really really use it and to help and this might be useful to you if you're gifting a journal you've made to somebody who isn't a, a junk journaler themselves but you'd like to introduce them to it. You can add, as I've done in the front of this journal, ways to use your journal. So I have given suggestions for how this journal can be used that are appropriate to her interests because the whole journal has been structured around what she likes and she loves to travel, she's been to so many places and she loves to take photographs and so in the suggestions I've put things like fill the pockets with tickets, note your most memorable meals because she also likes eating out, note the countries you have visited in order, I think that would be a difficult one for her, list the people you've met on your travels because I know they've uh, she and her partner have met many, um, fill the pockets with photos, curl up and read on a winter's evening and that last bit is I think for me it's one of the reasons why I like to make books and, and keep books. I've got books that go back now maybe over 12 years um, and they capture moments and they capture big expanses of time or big projects or big events uh, so my journals might include um, or I might have single journals dedicated to a two hour walk on a wintry afternoon or I've got other journals that are completely devoted to years and years spent um, cooking and developing recipes and that sort of thing so um, it can be as, as condensed a moment of time or it can be as broad an experience as you could possibly want to include 
it's entirely your choice. So this starts with one of the pages from the kit. You can you might remember that from the sheet that I showed you before. And I've printed them back to back so that um, I don't have to glue pages together and I've used a 160 GSM white paper to print onto and that gives a nice strength. It's it's not card but it's stronger than paper and it's um it's a really it's a really nice smooth finish as well. I've supplemented all of the kit with some of my own pages too. This is one of my own tea stain pages and I've inked it. I've, I've done some stamping here with a, a compass image and some words and I've added some little splatters using watercolour pens. Um, that's a nice technique to use. It's nice and controllable. So that is my page and then we go back to one of the kit pages. So you can see that I've used the kit interspersed throughout all of the journal. I've used more of my wax paper here to front up a little collection of tabs and the, the, these little tags, I should say, not tabs. Um, and I've added some uh, some ideas about how she might want to use these and make some notes about a trip. And there's also a little shell, um, little charm. I love these little charms and I, there are lots and lots of charms throughout this journal. And then behind the pocket also are some index cards. I thought index cards were quite a good idea to introduce somebody to junk journaling themselves because they're they're a nice clean white background um, I decided not to tea stain any of these but left them white because I think that just makes them uh, less of a creative thing there's less pressure to be creative within your journal your journal is simply for you to capture and record what you want to you don't have to be creative the journal is there to to inspire your own thoughts it doesn't mean that you have to then do anything amazingly clever on the notes that you make within your own journal. So you can write on on the tags or you can write on the index cards or you can write directly onto the page which is helpfully lined um, if you've got wonky writing which mine usually is. And the pocket I made um, myself and there is a video which I will list up there somewhere that shows you how I uh, did my template, how I made my template to create these pockets and then how I added the artwork and the stamping and the edging onto these um, little pockets that you'll see throughout the rest of the journal. This is another of my tea stained stamped pages, another of my pockets, another little tag that has the waxed paper to strengthen it and a little charm and some more of the little index cards so that writing in the journal isn't so intimidating. If somebody doesn't want to write on full pages, write on little cards and stick them in the pockets. And there is also some uh, ribbon as well, just to add a little bit of zhuzh to the, to the journal. Um, this isn't going to somebody who is particularly um, a lacy person, so I've kept it quite toned down. I've also used some more of the little images from the kit here and I've uh, done a little uh, hole in the top of the tag and secured them with ribbon and added um, a little ship charm as well um, into another of the pockets. Now this is one of my pages that I inked and coloured and then I scanned it into um, my computer so that I now have a copy of this and I can print this out whenever I want anything like this. And I, I really, uh, I think that's a great idea because if you want to do a journal quickly or if you don't want to keep reinventing the wheel um, but you love a, a page that you've done, scan it, keep it, copy it. And then this is the reverse. And obviously these are uh, larger and they've been folded into the signature. So we'll meet this page later on. These are pages uh, and this is a pocket from the kit and uh, this is a tag from the kit. And then on this tag, there is a tiny little passport charm. It's so sweet. And to help again with this idea of, well, how do I use it? There are some little prompts on here, some little word prompts, favorite experiences. Now these are just words that I've typed into um, my, uh, I use pages on a, on a MacBook. So I've typed those in, I've selected a font and I printed them out and I've added a little bit of inking just to colour down the white paper but it just gives a prompt so you can say on, on these tags write down some favourite experiences. There's also uh, some more pieces from uh, the kit, the Screech Owl kit and uh, a little checklist I just happen to have some of these and some more of the index cards so the rest of the journal is pretty much the same style. 
I think that's a beautiful image. That's from Screech Owl, again, from the kit. Just lovely, and, and uh, a suggestion maybe to list adventures still to have. Um, and this is a, a one of my tea stained pages. Oh, the other thing in the Screech Owl kit were these lovely curved corners, and I really like these. Um, I tend to use square pockets, but these curved corners are, are lovely, and I uh, used another one further on in the kit, but I printed it out larger, so it's a, it's a considerable size. This one uh, has adventure notes, so on these tags write about your adventures and there's a little globe charm uh, because she is a globetrotter. And uh, you'll recognise, you'll begin to recognise now that this is one of the Screech Owl pages as well and I really like the very subtle colouring. I, I just think these are gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Uh, there's one of mine, that's another of my uh, printed ones where I've done the artwork and I've scanned it in and I've printed it from my computer and the rear of that page and then the centre of the book. So you'll see that the rest of this is pretty much the same. That's a little anchor on um, a shaped paper clip there. And another of, uh, this is how I used some of these uh, rectangular cutout images and I just pop them on the back of the uh, paper clip and they're white on the reverse so that that can be used for making notes as well and in these pages these pages are blank and therefore you could use these to put uh, stamp uh, stick photographs in photographs of travels and this charm is of a little suitcase which I think is really sweet and another use for the rectangular artwork from Screech Owl's kit. This one this little tag uses more of my waxed papers and this time it has a Scottish thistle on it because there's a Scottish connection as well. So the rest of the journal follows the same style, that lovely shaped pocket from the Screech Owl kit. And here are some extra words. Now if I open this, this is a little glassine bag that I've made myself and if I open this out you can see that um, again it's one of these uh, little rectangular images and this time I've stuck most uh, maybe a third of it to the reverse of my little glassine bag and I've just folded over that and I'm using it as a seal on this bag because inside the bag I've got some little words that um, can be used uh, if she wants to use these throughout her own journal so I've got things like top places, a memorable trip, memories of a trip, people to visit and that way if uh, she wants to add these and glue these into the journal herself um, she has some that, that match so the whole journal um, it, it, it all ties in together and it, it all matches. That's what I was talking about with the larger corner pocket. I found that I could print these out slightly bigger um, which I was really pleased with and uh, here's another way of using some of the uh, little images from the kit as well and this is just stapled to the top of um, an index card and on this um, ribbon the charm is a wheel a ship's wheel. So there's lots of uh, imagery throughout the journal to do with travel and looking over the horizon and taking photographs and capturing memories. Um, and then I have some of these little cards, things to do, journal cards and more of these index cards. And I actually think this is a really useful way of um, including a space for people to write on. And that's the end of the journal. So that is the gift that is going to be wrapped up and gifted to a friend and I hope she enjoys it. Thank you very much for your time, thank you for watching, thank you for putting up with the croaky voice and until we meet again, take care.